everybody and welcome back to this episode of Black Ink Crew Season 6 Episode 8 The Lingerie Shrore Lord I can't get it out I've been talking so much my tongue is twisted and tied so it started off talking about the fight with the new manager in Young Bay that doggone Young Bay gonna stay <laughs> She said, what? I thought her Wonder Woman weave was beautiful and I just wanted to touch it. So that's why she beat up. <laughs> Young Bay, you too much. I am happy to see Richard back. Oh, ish is y'all. Some of y'all say, but I call him Richard. Are we going to call him by his government name? I'm glad to see he is back, though. He, he is single, and he couldn't get Nikki back, though. He tried out in Cali. But he's looking good and healthy. You can tell he is off the drugs. He's obviously off the coat. Face all fat and full. He done put on some weight. You can tell he's off the alcohol, and he really looks good. And I'm really happy, and I'm really proud of it. And I think he's really serious about it because I noticed that he wasn't at the party where they be doing all that drinking and what have you, weed smoking, any of that. I noticed that he wasn't there that I can remember. If he did, he came in late. Did he come in late? Leave it in the comments below if you can remember. Anyway, let's move on. Um, But I did think Nikki did, Nikki did have a positive impact on his life. But anyway, they made the money for Young Bay to go to Korea. So they're going to care. Donna, Kitty, Sky, Caesar, and Teddy is going. I kind of feel bad that Walt didn't get to go. And I honestly think the only reason Teddy is going is just like for safety reasons. Because Caesar didn't want to be the only big dude going because they are going to Korea. And Korea is not kind of like, it's not like going to like Barbados or Puerto Rico for vacation, nothing like that. It's little, it's kind of low poverty or whatever. And it's not kind of like everything else. But yeah, so stay, uh, Walt got him pretty much will stay back and run the shop and oversee Richard and everybody else and make sure they don't fall off the wagon and do what not. So Sky's gonna have to train Takiyana for the shop. Um, and what not, but. We'll see how that goes. I just don't... I don't know if she's going to be a good fit for the shop yet. I'm just going to have to keep watching and see. So, Donna is talking to the new shop manor, manager. This is the, you know, the day after the shop or whatever, uh, after the, the, the fight. And the next day when Sky brings her back into the shop or what have you, Donna want to go up to her like and like she gonna put her hands on her. Donna always wanted to put her hands on people. The last couple of seasons, Donna got her butt whooped. This season, now she thinks she just want to run around and be a bully and put her hands on people. But I'm gonna tell you who wasn't gonna gonna be having it. Tatiana wasn't because Tatiana not the dog crap. <laughs> Donna, that's what she get for putting her um hands on people because Tatiana wasn't, wasn't going to be like Melanie. Melanie was trying not to fight because Melanie ain't about that life, but she will put it down if she if she uh have to. She wasn't even finna play. She knocked the crap out of her. But anyway, Walt was intimidating Tatiana to a T. <laughs> but Tatiana, I'm sorry, I can't get past it. Donna went walking up on that girl. All I seen was in slow motion. Whoa, pow. Donna face. Wait a minute. And then Donna was dazed and confused for like a whole 40 seconds. And she said, pop. <laughs> Donna, Donna was just like, like, did I just get hit? That's what she get for running up on people. But anyway, so Jada and uh, Donna is having this house party, right? And um, this, I, they going to get kicked out of you. Uh, 
they already know how hard it was for Donna to, to get a place because of Help Me Howard. She going to get the, the girl Jada kicked out of her building now because she going to be over there being loud. Somebody else going to see her and be like, that's a girl from Help Me Howard. She stay upstairs. They going to be like, kick both of them out. Y'all better be trying to be quiet while y'all trying to have these big loud parties or whatever and keep up a bunch of, bunch of noise. But anyway, <clears throat> excuse me. So Donna come up with this plan to try to get rid of Tatiana. She say, hey, is she missing Melanie? And they asked everybody else if they missing Melanie. Of course, everybody going to be missing because she a part of the team now, what, what not. So she come up with this elaborate plan to go apologize to Melanie and try to get her back and do this flash dance. And it, she went, it did good. It went great. Even Melanie's husband was like looking outside and went out there. And was tickled about the whole situation. So Melly agrees to come back to the shop or whatnot or whatnot. But this is the real kicker. Melody don't reveal to at to the end of the day. After Donna the um harassed Tatiana and and attacked her and beat the girl up, the girl go to walk out the shop. She said she quit leaving, got Sky chasing her down the street. Cause Melanie said, I'm back, but oh, I'm not gonna be the shop manager. And they like, what? <laughs> she said, oh, I come back to work and tattoo and get money, but I'm not going to be the manager of this shop because they disrespectful. I don't blame me either. They disrespectful. They don't listen. And if you don't accuse me of uh, taking a $10,000, I wouldn't want to be the manager of the shop either. One like they was listening to nothing she, gonna, she was saying, y'all suddenly going to listen to her now. I think not. But it was funny when Donna went to apologize. Did y'all notice how Melanie tur <laughs> turned her nose up at Donna? She's like, Donna, what are you doing here? <laughs> did y'all catch that? I caught it. Mm -hmm. She most definitely did. But I'm glad they all showed up and they did the flash dance. It was good. But at least she back at the shop. So anyway, that did turn out good. The next thing, let's see. Oh, we was getting into the party. So they had the party and the party was going good. And then um, they went back there. It was Alex and which one was it? Young Bay went back there and saw Donna and Jada. Make it out on the freaking bed. So then they come back in there and they telling Teddy about what happened. And then and Scott and then Sky hearing it, she getting in on it. Why did Sky have to run till Walt? Because they was basically like, well, we we Walt gonna be heartbreak broken. We cannot tell Walt. Why? Sky petty ass gonna be like, wow, I had to tell you something. Why she gotta be like that? After what she done went through with her son and that whole situation with her son, she was just smoking a cigar with Caesar going on about how hurt she was with, about her son and that they still not talking. And Caesar telling her, you know, it ain't gonna always be like that. One day he will want to talk, blase, blase. Why you want to, you hurt, why, you was hurt by that. Why you want to go hurt somebody else like that? That just upset me that Sky was petty like that and did it. I didn't think it was funny and I didn't think it was the right thing to do knowing how Walt felt about her. Walt was really feeling her come in, brought, brought them a freaking plant. Now, he he didn't come in with no liquor, with no old dog, get your drunk and nasty liquor. He came in with a nice house plant, something to show love. Walt done got so upset, he done went over there and flipped the drink table, which was the freezer lid, and threw drinks everywhere and walked out on him. And I don't blame him. I would be mad at Jada, too, and she didn't want Walt to be mad, but I'd be mad, too. And I will be more mad at Donna than Jada because Donna does this. And I told y'all this the last review. Donna has to have everybody. She has even Caesar, Caesar said it. Donna, Donna, Donna is the one that need to be called the vagina slayer because she get all the vagina like she really does. Because she just nasty like that. She just... Oh. She just be doing too much. 
But Donna's Donna, uh, she just she just a bit much. But anyway, so that's just let me see. Tatiana did agree to come back to the shop, so we got to see how it go in the next episode with her coming back and see what Donna do to her next because she stay doing something to somebody. But anyway, this is all for this episode. Be sure to click one of the videos that you haven't saw one of my reviews about Black Ink Crew, one of my previous reviews about it, or another show that you may like. It may be a haul hair or hair video. I'm going to leave a playlist of all my reviews. Find the ones that you may have missed. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you can get all the reviews as soon as they're, as soon as they're uploaded. I thank you guys for watching, and I'm going to see you in that next review. Bye.